Welcome everybody. Today we are going to discuss issues to do with health research. Research is very important because it allows us to, to get new knowledge and be able to improve our practice. And this is going to be one of the first lectures in this module. So research is a systematic approach in inquiring and gathering data about a specific problem such that we get proper conclusions about a specific phenomena, problem, or issue, or even a situation. So research starts when there is a problem that needs to be solved. Or we can say that research starts when there is a question that needs an answer. So we go out seeking for the right answers or we are seeking for the truth about a given phenomenon. We don't do this randomly. We do it in a systematic manner. And therefore, research is done for many purposes. Of course, we examine the existing knowledge about a particular problem. And therefore, we, we validate the existing knowledge about a particular phenomena, problem, or issue. And then it also allows us to generate new knowledge about certain problems, situations, or phenomena. And this new knowledge can now be used to inform our decisions. And we therefore, even in a clinical situation, we can be able to determine which treatments, interventions are appropriate for particular situations. So research allows us to evaluate the different approaches we use for treatment of conditions such that we can choose the most effective or the, most, the one which is actually cost effective. You can make a sound decision about how you're going to manage a particular clinical situation. And therefore, we use the term evidence-based practice to explain a research or from different research articles such that we can come up with a sound clinical decision in order to manage our patients. Topic or module. You will, you will gain specific skills related to research. You will be able to look at research and be able to pick out the relevant conclusions or be, even be able to interpret research data such that you can be able to use that the research data uh, in an appropriate way. So you become a good a, a knowledgeable consumer of research information or research findings or research conclusions. And you will also gain knowledge on the research process and how you can take an active part in research. It is very important for you to also gain knowledge on how to appraise research. This is to say that you, you, you will want to understand of particular social phenomena or situations or even um, validating particular theories. Okay, whereas quantitative research thinks, uh, seeks to explore or even describe a particular problem using numerical data. So quantitative research designs can be categorized into descriptive research, correlational research, causal cooperative, or quasi uh, experimental research, and then lastly, experimental research. So, descriptive research is concerned with seeking to answer particular questions related to who, what, when, where, and how about a particular research problem, event, phenomena, or even a situation or even about a particular disease, for example, or health problem, okay? So we are basically describing a given health problem 
okay? And, and when describing a given health problem, we are answering the questions of who is affected by the health problem and what causes the health problem, when does the health problem occur commonly, and then where is the health problem happening. Questions like that are answered by descriptive research. In correlational research, we seek to understand the relationship between two variables. So we are investigating two variables uh, on whether which one causes the other. When the other happens, what happens to the other? So what is the relationship between these two variables? So the unique thing with correlational research is that for it, it is not experimental, meaning that there is no manipulation of either of the variables that are under investigation. Okay, so we can, for example, want to know the relationship between uh, consumption of alcohol and, and then the occurrence of uh, lung, uh, the occurrence of liver cancer, for example. So what is the relationship between? The more people consume alcohol, the more likely that they will get liver cancer. Is that actually existing? So if you want to investigate such a, such a question, we are using a correlational study. And you're not going to manipulate uh, the variables or the participants. You're not going to have an intervention on the participants. The other part, the other type of uh, quantitative research is the causal cooperative uh, research or the quasi experimental research is that this one also seeks to determine the relationship between variables, which one causes the other. But still, it is not typically uh, experimental. A typical experimental study is one where there is, the, the researcher is going to have an intervention on the subjects of the research participants. So in, uh, in causal cooperative, you want to understand which one causes the other, but you're not going to have um, uh, the researcher manipulating uh, any of the subjects or variables in order to determine the relationship. So the other broad category of research method is what we call the qualitative approach, where we are investigating about a particular phenomena using non-numerical data. Often we can use uh, data that is narrated to us or data that we, we obtain from past records or even objects and other things. So one approach is what we call, or one risk method is what we call the historical research, where uh, uh, a researcher seeks to understand the past, uh, seeks to understand past events and relate them uh, and see how it, the, the chronology of events. And they can use a variety of methods to get this data, archaeological data, uh, past records, or even interviews of, of key personalities who are present. And then we have ethnographic research. This is when now the researcher goes and interrupts uh, or immerses themselves with, with a society where they are investigating the problem. So they have in-depth interviews with, uh, with the research, research participants and they also at the same time observe and collect data, um, huge data about a particular phenomena. So usually these are social phenomena that they investigate. And then a narrative research is when someone, um, um, when a researcher is interested in understanding the, the, about a particular phenomena from the perspective of a single research 
participant. So in this presentation, we have basically understood that research seeks to answer particular questions and we go out to seek for the right answers using systematic approaches to gather this data such that we can make uh, decisions that can improve the, the health outcomes in general uh, for the populations under which we are investigating the problem. Thank you.